Hi everybody, I hope all of you had such a, a very, very Merry Christmas. Well now it's back to work again everybody. Today I'm making everyday chocolate chip cookies. Several weeks ago we made chocolate chip cookies, but these are a little bit different. I made them many, many years ago, and believe it or not, I found the recipe. I'm adding in two cups of all-purpose flour. It has to be sifted. Makes the cookies supposedly very light and fluffy. Hope everybody has had a very enjoyable Christmas. Believe it or not, everybody, on Christmas Day, the temperature here in New Jersey was 74 degrees. Oh, so it did not feel like Christmas to me, honestly. Now, the next thing we're going to add in is one, adding in one half teaspoon of salt. Often you can add in a teaspoon, but I think it'll be a little too uh, salty. I, I would not take a chance. I'm adding in also one teaspoon a baking soda. This will make it right. That's my oven. It's preheated up to the temperature. It's supposed to be 375. Now I'm now going to whisk all my dry ingredients together. Now I'm going to put this over here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix my butter mixture and sugar mixtures together. I'm going to be a little devil. I'm adding in one cup of brown sugar. There we go. I'm also adding in one quarter cup of granulated white sugar. All right, you little devils, into the sink you go. Make it a little creamy and fluffy, okay? That's why I stopped talking because you can't hear me over the mix master going. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm adding in one fresh farm egg. Now the next thing I'm going to add in, you know what I almost forgot everybody? This is what happens when you celebrate Christmas and have a good holiday season. I almost forgot the chocolate chips. That would have been horrible. Now I'm going to mix this for about another 10 seconds. Okay, it's very creamy and fluffy. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm adding in one and one half teaspoons of vanilla extract. There you go. It's going to be really good. I used to make these many, many years ago. Not like what I made a few weeks ago. This is a little bit different. Now what I'm going to do is mix this all together before we add in the dry ingredients. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is, my sleeve almost got caught in the mixer, so we'll put the sleeves up. I'm going to start in adding in dry ingredients into the wet mixture. Very gradual. It's getting very thick already. Well, I'm sorry, camera lady. It's 
nice and thick, we'll have very wonderful chocolate chip cookies. All right, let's get the rest of these guys out here. Come on, come on. Out, out, out. Here we go. Let's put this over here for now. Okay, one thing I have to say, I had an experience a couple days ago, I was making my Christmas cookies, I microwaved the butter, and it made it flat as little pancakes. And other people told me the same, other people don't agree with me on that, but I would definitely let the butter uh, get warm at room temperature. Now the next thing I'm going to add in are the chocolate chips. Hershey chocolate chocolate chips, they are so yummy. About a half a bag to almost a whole bag. Nice chocolate chip cookies. Okay, now what I'm going to do is grab my wooden spoon from here and stir everything together. Look how good that looks already. We gotta make sure all this flour is out. Here we go. Here we go. If something too floury will not taste that good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is I grease this cookie sheet on top of butter. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my little chocolate chip dough balls, I call them dough balls, and they're going to become chocolate chip cookies. Okay, this is going into the oven at 375. I would say about eight minutes, but you have to keep checking them. Now, I have it up on the third shelf up. Wait, one, two, three, four. On the fourth shelf up, too low, the cookies will burn. So you have to keep them up high enough so they don't burn. And this cookie sheet must be greased. My daughter also told me Kilo is burning the cookies. And here we have everyday chocolate chip cookies. A little bit different than the ones I made a few weeks ago. They're made just slightly different with slightly different ingredients in it. You have to put it up, they have to bake for about 8 to 10 minutes, depends on the heat of your oven, at 375. I tried the fourth shelf, shelf up, I noticed they weren't getting done, so we lowered it one more shelf. So now we're cooking it like on the second, third shelf up. Deborah Wade, Home Country Kitchen, have a great day.